Did you know people over 65 are 700% more likely to share fake news and misinformation than younger people online? A 2019 study published in scientific journal Science Advances determined the ability to share fake news correlated more strongly with age than it does education, sex or political views. Generally, a person over 65 is known as a baby boomer, a person born after World War II when people were celebrating the end of the Great Depression and as a result had many, many babies. And, according to the study, it doesn't matter if they're well educated. A baby boomer is still far more likely to post fake news, which is why the word boomer posting is so strongly affiliated with internet illiteracy. This may be because they have not had the same computer training as the younger generations and aren't aware that, as Abraham Lincoln once said, you shouldn't trust everything you read on the internet. This study is important because it demonstrates one of the frustrations the internet has felt toward baby boomers, and hence we now have the shut the fuck up boomer meme. A good example of fake news being shared by older people on the internet is the recent Instagram policy hoax. This type of fake chain letter has been shared many years before, and this exact chain letter first appeared around 2012, but usually looks less tampered with. I mean, it's incredibly easy to tell that someone has used a crappy editing program to replace the word Facebook with Instagram, but for some reason many older people still share it even though it looks like a piece of dog shit. And that's the thing, many articles from fake news websites don't even look real or look like they were made by a child, but older people tend to take them as truth. It's incredibly frustrating in an era where the sharing of false information has led to death in other countries such as Myanmar. But I digress, there are other reasons why boomers have become meme-worthy. One such instance is their ability to loudly criticise younger generations' supposed inability to understand how the world works, and yet will simultaneously boast of their own inability to understand how the world works because things were better in their days, so what's the point of learning anything new? And I suppose things were better, in a way, because after World War II ended, America's economy skyrocketed and baby boomers enjoyed far more housing subsidies and stimulus packages in the form of welfare than any other generation following it. However, people still died from polio and God help you if you are a different colour than white. This negative attitude towards the newer generations can be observed through the beloved medium of shitty comics. There are thousands of examples of boomers sharing fake news, but they also love to share comics made in a specific style, covering specific topics. These comics can be characterised by a number of things. 1. Big-nosed fat people. 2. Something about how bad phones are. 3. Excessive labelling. 4. Something about how the younger generation thinks everything is a phone, usually accompanied by a variation of Father, I cannot click the book. And lastly, there always has to be an acknowledgement of how much a husband hates his wife, because nothing says happy marriage like choosing to spend the rest of your life with someone you don't get along with. Here is a wonderful parody comic by Wild Wasteland 42 that manages to encapsulate all of these things. These awful predictable comics are so commonplace amongst boomer Facebook profiles that the internet has grown wary of them and of course warrants the phrase, shut the fuck up boomer. In fact, the jokes and assertions boomers make have become so predictable that you can find satirical websites pretending to be boomers making boomer content. At this stage you might see references to minions or other cartoon creatures, but I believe minions are more popular with people under 65 because boomers generally find them too new and scary. With exceptions, of course. My favourite Boomer parody is the editorial cartoon from The Onion. Cartoonist Stan Kelly is so good at parodying Boomer cartoons that I've actually seen them shared unironically. This is similar to the content made by Facebook page Garden Hoses and The Olden Days. Sometimes it's so similar to the real thing that you can't tell if it's satire at all. It parodies the obsession Boomers have with letting you know that they drank out of hoses when they were children. This obsession stems from the idea that older people had tougher lives. They drank out of the hose because they couldn't get bottled water, as opposed to the newer generations who allegedly have easier lives. Some of this is true, boomers had less access to healthcare and science was at the point where a lot of treatable diseases would straight up kill you. But it's also no secret that they had an incredibly strong post-war economy built by their parents and far lower unemployment rates. Perhaps the most interesting concept to bloom from this meme is that every generation seems to believe people younger than them are idiots. 4th century philosopher Aristotle famously once said, 
Young people are high-minded because they have not yet been humbled by life, nor have they experienced the force of circumstances, which seems to mirror the opinions of boomers, or really any other generation alike. We've even seen the newest generation whinging about young kids, younger than themselves, enjoying themselves playing Fortnite. Oh, the humanity! Not younger people enjoying video games! Now, who does that remind me of? In conclusion, hating on newer generations is boring, predictable, and nothing new, but I can't wait to see what kind of far-out futuristic crap my own millennial generation will be complaining about when we are too old to try new things. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs>